Hello everybody, um, today, as you can see, it is raining, um, and it's fall time in Georgia, so during that period of the year, there's lots of rain, so I'm not going to be doing any work today, um, I can't be cutting any grass or blowing any leaves because it's too wet, so today I thought I'd make another landscaping video for you, showcasing our backpack blowers and our handheld blower. We, we've got four blowers actually. Three backpack blowers, one handheld blower. So there they are right there. All of our blowers. Now there's really only going to be two blowers that I'm going to show you guys today and they are the handheld blower and this backpack blower right here. The two Husqvarna blowers. And I won't be showing you really in-depth these two blowers because neither of them work right now. This one can't start and this one needs, you can kind of see, it needs one of those like uh, tubes to connect this part to the, uh, the main body. It also has a bit of a throttle issue so uh, it's kind of uh, kind of too much to go into right now so if we do get this blower fixed up sometime soon. I'll show that to you. It's a really old one. This is like probably from the early 2000s or late 90s even. I mean, it's a really old blower. It's been sitting in a shed for decades. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really just going to be showing you this blower and this blower, our two main blowers that we use for both lawn and leaves, leaf season. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you the Husqvarna 125B, which is this handheld blower right here. Um, it starts pretty simply. Here's the choke. You want to turn it all the way over there. Um, and then you just press the bulb 15 times. I usually do. It takes a good number of squeezes before it starts. I mean, this thing, it's a bit older, so it needs just that little bit extra gas to get going. Um, and then you just pull the cord till it starts and then you just slowly flip it all the way over to the right and then you just squeeze the trigger and it'll blow just fine. Um, between the two blowers, obviously this one doesn't have as much power, but this still is like the main blower we used for the first almost two years of the business. It's the only blower we had, actually. I think we might have had some electric ones, but this is the only gas blower that we had. And at the time, it was our most powerful. We actually got it for free. Uh, a guy who lived in the neighborhood just gave it to us. Actually, it was a couple days after we had started the business, way back in October of 2020. So we used that for a good number of years, and we're still using it today. Um, and not as much as this one. This is our main blower, but this still acts as a good backup for when this one is... I mean, this one really has never been out of commission. It's a really great blower. But, you know, occasionally you'll need more than one blower. In fact, with the kind of business we have, we need definitely more than one blower. But we're hoping to upscale pretty soon, maybe get some steel BR600s or BR800s, two of them most likely, so that me and my brother can both be using them. But that aside, so that's pretty much it for this blower right here. I think the only other thing I was going to say was when we first got it, this trigger was stuck up like that and it wouldn't idle. It would just like turn right on and then be at full blast whenever it was running. But our mechanic Eddie came over and he fixed that. Uh, trigger and now the trigger works and you can let it idle and all that so that that's helped us out a bit more too now that it's running properly and then over here we've got the 150 BT Husqvarna and it's a backpack blower obviously it's our main blower that we use for both leaf season and lawn season lawn season is basically blowing off driveways and streets like with debris and then leaf season is for leaves and to start it it's pretty simple you just want to take the this switch here and flip it down it's already down but that's like the turn off switch so to turn it off you want to flip it up and to turn it on you want to flip it down 
Uh, then you take this lever, the trigger lever, and push it all the way up so the trigger is completely in. You come back here, make sure the choke is completely down, and then you press the bulb, which is under there, it's hard to see, but you press that about four times, you pull the cord until it wants to start, and then you quickly flip that up and flip this down. A little complicated, but once you have it down, you can start it in under two seconds. And then it's idling and you can use it, and it's a really great blower. It's got a lot of power, and it's our go-to blower right now until we can get some better, bigger commercial ones. So let me start them up for you guys. All right, everybody. So now we're going to start the handheld blower first. It's pretty simple. Uh, what you basically want to do is just press this bulb 15 times, like how I said earlier. Takes a minute. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. All right, and then you want to take the choke and flip it all the way to the left, and then you just pull to start. showed it to you earlier, but just watch me do it and I can start this thing pretty fast. Press this about four times. Yeah, it's kind of wet, so the leaves aren't wanting to blow <laughs> very well today. By the way, this is my brother over here. He's got his ear protection on, so <laughs> he doesn't lose his hearing from the loud equipment. Uh, he's kind of serving as a uh, standby person and cameraman occasionally, so just thought I'd introduce him to you. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, so yeah, what I was going to say was basically the leaves aren't blowing very well because it's wet, but I'll still show you one more thing before I go, um, and it's what I call the two blower system. It's kind of something fun to do when you need just a bit more power. It's take this blower, put it on your back, and use your right hand to control the backpack blower, and then in your left hand hold this one. And you can get just a little bit more done that way. Kind of a fun thing to do around the property, or occasionally if you have a lot of leaves, then uh, you can do it then. So let me show that to you guys. So there you go everybody, uh, just a little bit of blowing for you. Um, as you can see, the two blower system is pretty fun. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't always do it, but occasionally if I get a chance and we have both blowers with us on the job, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, in an upcoming video, I'm hoping to make maybe a video either about the main vehicle we use for the business or maybe something something else that's interesting for you. Maybe I can make a video about our mowers, um, or maybe I can make a video about our dreams for the business, because we have a lot of plans for this business. 
especially during the off season when we're not so busy, we have plenty of time to plan for the next season and just how to improve the business um, upcoming. So, uh, yeah, just like talking about getting a truck, getting a trailer, taking the next step to get more uh, mobilized, to get more commercial. I mean, we don't, we, we like what we do. We like staying a little bit more local, servicing our neighbors, which uh, we've been doing for a good long time now, but we're just about ready to to take the next step, maybe start doing some bigger jobs, some longer jobs, some more higher paying jobs. Obviously, that's something we want to look into. So, yeah, just uh, let me know what you guys want to see in upcoming videos, and uh, let me know what you think of this one in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and it really helps support the work me and my brother do, and I'm glad that all you guys who have been commenting on the videos and watching my videos have been as encouraging and friendly, <laughs> because <laughs> I'm a, I was a little uh, squeamish at first about starting this channel, just because I wasn't sure what did I want to make this channel about, but I'm passionate about lawn care, and I'm glad that all you who watch my videos are too, so yeah, just uh, hope you are having a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.